Hello and welcome to Oakle Garden. In this video, we'll be focusing on cauliflower and celery, growing tips and growing both of these vegetables in containers, a process called blanching, which both of these vegetables require prior to harvesting, and how to harvest these vegetables. Both cauliflower and celery are cool weather plants and require temperatures between 50 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. For a container, I would recommend a wood or a terracotta container for insulation, minimum 12 inches deep and 12 inches across. Even though these are moisture loving plants, too much moisture can cause rotting in the actual vegetable. So you want a container that drains well and also you don't want to plant it too deep in the container to allow water to run off. Cauliflower is a member of the brassica family, which includes collards, cabbage, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. Its leaves are also edible and it's considered a superfood, providing fiber, B vitamins, and many other nutrients. Cauliflower requires a process called blanching. This is my new favorite garden term because Blanche is my favorite character of the Golden Girls. Blanching in gardening is a process that prevents photosynthesis that keeps the vegetable tender and sweet for harvest. Here I am blanching one of my two cauliflowers. You want to begin by gathering all the leaves gently not to break them, but also not holding them too tight. The reason you don't want them to be too tight is because if there's too much moisture trapped inside and not enough airflow, it could rot the vegetable. You want to begin this process when the cauliflower head is about 2 to 4 inches across. The actual head is a flower. Blanching helps delay the opening up of the flower buds, therefore making the actual harvest more flavorful. It also keeps the cauliflower head white and it also keeps all the curds into a nice tight round ball instead of spreading out. To hold this in place, I'm using garden velcro tape that I bought on Amazon. I'll include the link below. I really like this tape because it's less abrasive than using twine or copper wire. While holding the leaves all up with one hand, I will circle the cauliflower with the garden velcro tape, allowing it to stick to itself and to secure the leaves in place. Keep in mind the airflow. You don't want this to be too tight because then it'll trap too much moisture, ultimately rotting the vegetable. You want to start this process ultimately two weeks before you plan to harvest. Celery also goes through a blanching process very similar to this one. In my garden, I'm growing a hybrid of celery called Celery Tango. Once the stalks are about six inches in length, I'm gonna use the same garden tape to bind them. This will prevent the sun from creating a fibrous celery stalk and also keep them tender and sweet when they're ready for harvest. Back to the cauliflower, it will grow exponentially during this time. The head will be ready to harvest once it's about eight inches across in diameter. It's as easy as lopping off the head with a sharp shears. Next, I'll save this garden tape for another use and I'll open up the head. This cauliflower developed a slight purple fuzz around the tips. This is a naturally occurring pigment that is a reaction to sun exposure, the same pigment that occurs in purple basil. That's why when you look at purple basil, the leaves that are more exposed to the sun turn a deeper shade of purple. Luckily, it doesn't really change the flavor. You can save the root for later composting. Here is my second cauliflower. The blanching process in this cauliflower was a perfect success. The flower head is perfectly white and the curds are nicely tight bound together. Same as before, off with her head. I don't know why, but that sound is so satisfying. Here they are side by side. This has been one of the most enjoyable vegetables for me to grow because they just grow so beautiful and leafy. Remember, you can use the root for composting later on. I think playing in dirt can be quite therapeutic. Now, moving on to harvesting my celery tango. Blanching helps the celery remain tender and sweet by protecting the stalks from the sun. You don't wanna grow celery in direct sun, especially if you're in Miami. You kind of want to grow it somewhere where it's going to get four hours of sun. You want to harvest celery when the smallest stalks are six inches long. Again, this is celery tango, so it does grow a thinner stalk, but much more flavorful. You want to harvest celery at the soil line, which means you want to cut where the roots start. You want to remove the roots after you're done harvesting to make room for anything else you want to plant in that planter. Once you've cut the celery free, 
you can go ahead and use a serrated knife or your shears to cut off the remaining root. Now here's my harvested celery next to new celery that I will be blanching soon. I'll be using this harvest in pickling. These two vegetables make great pickling vegetables because they're so crunchy. I add dill and other spices from the garden, including a ghost pepper, to give it a little bit of a kick. Comment below if you're interested in me making a pickling tutorial to show how I pickle the vegetables and herbs from my garden. Thanks for watching!